Hi, I'm Ryan from Buster Beagle 3D and today I kind of wanted to go over something that I did to make it a little bit easier to kind of register pieces on the D1. Um, one of the issues is when you place down your piece um, on any type of spoil board there's no real way to register it to the laser to make sure that everything is square. So, you know, even a being off by a couple of degrees, you might not notice it when you put your part down, but uh, you'll notice it when it, it doesn't burn correctly. I mean, you can use the laser guide that goes around the part, but it still would be a nice to have a way to do some sort of repeatability with the laser so that you can always place the item in the same spot. So the first thing I did was I created these 3D printed files uh, where you would put these and you would screw these down to your spoil board at opposite ends of the machine and so then that way you always know that your part or that your machine is going to be in the same spot and then the second thing that I did was in LaserBox um, I created a file so I'm going to go to import and I have this Xtool D1 grid I'll open that up so the first thing that you want to do is you want to move this over to that corner uh, based on where this box is right here. So I am going to zoom in. Okay. So I really want to get this corner as close to this corner as possible. I'm just going to move that over here. Okay, that's pretty close. Um, and then you'll see here it says delete me. That's because this grid is is only uh, 40 centimeters or 400 millimeters. And the reason I did that was because I didn't really want to go to the complete extents of the machine. As far as I can tell, there's no limit switches on this machine. So, you know, I didn't want to get too close to the edge because if you go to the edge and it and it bangs up against something, it's going to throw off your entire burn because then things will not be registered the same anymore. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to delete this delete me and this box because this box is just there for the registration when you open this file. So I'll delete that. And then if you want to you can delete my logo down here or click on it and type whatever you want in there. I'll leave it in for right now. So, so this is the grid. Each one of these, like I said, is a is 10 millimeters apart. This 216 and 203 is the center of the workable area. So you see, this is these numbers are half of the full extent that the machine can actually burn. So that should be the center. So the way I'm going to do this, and this right now is set up for basswood, so any type of plywood or any of the boards, MDF that you put it down onto, this should probably work pretty good. So I'm going to come, I'm already connected to my laser. I'm going to click on start. And so the first thing that I want to do uh, is I want to home my machine. So I'm going to click this home button and that should move your laser into the top left corner of the machine. So I know that I want to come over 216 and then I want to go down 203 to get right in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this distance to 216 and then I'm going to click the right arrow key and that moves my laser over 216 millimeters and then I'm going to come over here type in 203 and move down 203 millimeters so right now my laser should be in the center of the workable area of this machine so then I'm going to take this little blue dot I'm going to move it into the center because I want it to start burning from the center and then I just hit start and then what this is going to do is this is going to burn this entire pattern onto my spoil board. So the next time that I want to come back in here and I want to get it right into the center here, I just have to come back here, home my machine until it's in that top corner, 
come over 216, come down 203, and technically it should be right in the center. Now, as you can see on mine, mine was slightly off. This could have to do that with a loose belt or something like that. But it gets me pretty close to where that center is. And more importantly, now I can actually register the pieces that I want to burn so that they're square to my laser and they'll always be square to my laser. Um, so even if I have to start it from a, a different point, um, it's not going to, it's not going to be skewed to the squareness of the laser. So I hope this is useful. Um, I'm going to provide this file in the file section on Facebook uh, as well as the 3D printed files uh, on Thingiverse. You can go and download them there. If you do not have a 3D printer, uh, I will make these parts available on my Etsy store that you can pick up. Uh, so I hope this was helpful, and that's it. Thanks.